is uh, Joey from JLD Travels. <clears throat> Coming back with a new video today with the second episode of my series of trying to self teach myself uh, Tagalog. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, learning the names of the top 10 Filipino foods and I'm going to see if I can actually uh, pick these up or not. So without further ado, we'll jump right in. Audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free. Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. Hi guys, and welcome to Filipino Top Words. I'm Erica, and for today we will be learning about Filipino foods. So, you probably know, or you probably don't know, that there are many different uh, and delicious Filipino foods. Adobo. Adobo. Oh, I know that one. The first so food that adobo. everyone should know about is adobo. In English... We also call it adobo. Adobo ang paborito kong pagkain Pilipino. Adobo is my favorite Filipino dish. So actually, adobo is the first thing that I've ever learned to make. It's the easiest. So you just need uh, soy sauce, vinegar, bay leaf, or laurel leaf, whatever you call them. Sometimes people call them bay leaf, sometimes laurel leaf. And peppercorns, right? And then just boil it with boil those things together with... Uh, Pork or chicken or pork and chicken, depending on what you want to eat. And then everything will be nice and uh, soft. Chicharon. 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 Next is chicharon. In English, chicharon. Ang chicharon ay gawa sa balat ng baboy. Chicharon is made from pig skin. So it's actually crackling pig skin. Yeah, it's very crunchy. Oh, so that's what but they, I saw that's some called, show where they made chicharon yeah, so by putting in, it in the oven. And I put it in the, the oven and then afterwards it came out really crackling. crackling. So that's how they made it. But I don't know if that's ha actually how you make it. Uh, I think the most uh, popular so the uh, brand of chicharon is uh, of, uh, Lapids. So if you want to try chicharon, try the Lapids chicharon. Just remember that's not very he healthy. Chicharon. Try it. Don't eat too much. You can also eat it with rice actually. Durian. 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 Next food is, or fruit, is durian. Or actually durian. just durian. Masarap ang durian kahit na may amoy ito. Durian, durian or durian, is delicious. Even if it doesn't smell good. Yeah, it actually doesn't smell good. But it tastes nice. It, 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 to me, it just tastes like jackfruit. I don't know about you. If you want to try durian, you go to the southern part of the Philippines. That's where you can get them cheaper. Yeah, fresher, more potent smell. <laughs> go to Davao, get them there fresh Davao. and it's really good. Halo halo. Halo halo. Halo halo. In English, halo halo. Tuwing tag-araw, mabenta ang halo halo. Every summer, halo halo sells well. So halo halo is made up of crushed ice with some sweet beans with different fruits and um, I'm pretty sometimes sure we uh, had a milkshake what other stuff nata de coco or like sweet oh, coconut things and also uh, leche flan or caramel flan that's actually how it is like caramel flan or sometimes uh, what is it sweet yam you know yam right ube and then sometimes, in some stores, they put uh, ice cream on top of it. When I was young, my aunt actually sells halo-halo. And those are the best halo-halo. I don't really like halo-halo in other places. I only like her halo. But she didn't make it make them anymore because the way you make the crushed ice, it's very manual. Everything is manual. You have this small device, right? You know it, like, to do this with the ice. It's not like you buy crushed ice already. So you have this uh, small, like this device. So for every, every, uh, what's this, glass of halo-halo, it takes a lot of time for you to get crush ice. So my friend here drew halo-halo. <laughs> and this is it. So this is the crushed ice. And these are the stuff that you can put inside, like uh, sweet beans, um, some fruits, and then this is the caramel flan or the pudding. And then sometimes they have ice cream here. And then you use the spoon to make to halo halo or to mix mix everything. <laughs> so that's it. Kare kare. Kare kare. Kare kare. Or peanut stew. Next kare, food kare. is kare kare. 
Kare kare. In English, kare kare. Or, if you really want to be fancy, <laughs> peanuts too. Masarap magluto ng kare kare si Joy. Joy cooks delicious peanuts kare kare too. Si if you've already noticed, uh, we always like repeating words for the names of our food. <laughs> halo halo and kare kare. Before when I was young, I only get to eat kare kare during fiesta. Because it's kind of an expensive food to make. Because traditionally, you would make kare kare with, um, how do you call this part? Um, toalya? Yeah, toalya. How do you say Innards? it? Innards? Like, um, intestine walls? Something, I think, it's stomach walls. Stomach, stomach lining, walls, yeah. right? Init- or originally, it's with stomach lining. So I think that's kind of hard to come by and a bit expensive. Because you make it with uh, cow innards, right? But it's really good. And then now, you know, people like to eat the fast food. So there's lots of mixes for kare kare. And before, when you really want to make kare kare, you have to grind the peanuts by hand, everything by hand, right? The, to make peanut paste. But now you can just buy mixes and stuff. But still, the the original kare kare is very good. Now you can make it with pork, with uh, beef, or chicken. <coughs> or you can just... Uh, Use vegetables if you want to be vegetarian. Because it ha- actually has lots of vegetables. Because even though it's peanut sauce, it actually doesn't have... What do you call this? It has taste, but it's ha- it's not salty, it's not sweet. As if it's there's no taste at all. So there's taste, but there's no taste at all. It's kind of weird. So you, you eat it with shrimp paste. Or in Filipino, bagoong. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay. But I cannot eat it. It's not festa yet. Yeah. <laughs> lechon. Lechon. Roasted yeah. suckling pig. Roasted Next suckling is pig. lechon or roasted suckling pig. Tuwing Pasko, hindi mawawala Tuwing ang lechon sa pagkain ma- Pilipino. Every Christmas, roasted suckling pig is always present in Filipino dishes. Filipino. Lechon is expensive, so you only get lechon. It's an entire pig that's roasted. So, usually, oh, you so roast it for a long time because you want everything it. to be even, I right? The way it's cooked. And then at the end, you will get this expensive. really, uh, like, crackling skin. Yeah, very, very crispy. Mm. And then you eat it with liver sauce. That's the best. You only get this usually every big festivals or in some families' Christmas. We don't do lechon for Christmas because in the city, you cannot really do actual lechon. But you can buy lechon. What happens is... You get lechon on Christmas, and then the next few days, you get lechon paksiu, which is the, the meat of the lechon cooked as a stew, right? With the liver sauce, and it's very good. That's my favorite, actually. Ooh, I like I like I lechon paksiu more than lechon. So this is lechon. I don't know if you can see. Aren't we going to insert pictures here? <laughs> here on this Let's side, see you will see lechon. I still haven't tried that yet. Manga. Manga. Mango. Manga or oh, mango. They call it manga. Mura lang ang manga sa Pilipinas. Mura lang ang mango is cheap in the Philippines. the Philippines. And we have the best mangoes. I have a Thai friend. He admits that we have. <laughs> and those red mangoes that you get in the store, they're, they're not real mangoes. If you want to try real mangoes, go to the Philippines. Yeah, so we have two kinds of mangoes. The yellow ones and the green ones. The yellow ones are the usual, very sweet. Very fragrant. They weren't best fruit in the, the world. Mangoes. The, no? the green one is the slightly sour. Not slightly sour. Sour green sour ones, ones that really we call sour. actually Indian mangoes. I don't know why. Because they're sour. And because Filipinos really like to combine taste. Sweet, spicy, sweet, salty, sour together. So we eat the sour green mangoes with shrimp paste. Or sometimes salt if you don't have shrimp paste. And it's really delicious. We eat that always uh, in high school after class. Sinigang. 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 Tamarind soup. Sinigang. Or sinigang. Mandarin or tamarind soup. Tamarind but actually, it's not just tamarind soup because you can have sinigang based in guava, sinigang based in some other sour things. Masarap ang sinigang Masarap dahil sa saktong asin na lasa nito. Tamarind soup is delicious because of its pleasantly sour taste. So, you can make sinigang with um, pork or with shrimp 
or with fish. But my favorite is uh, pork sinigang. What is yours? Pork also. Before when I was young, I liked shrimp sinigang. But then I realized I like shrimp better in either curry or just in butter sauce because shrimp is be- better in butter in sauce. Butter sauce in so po- sinigang is best. Never with heard pork. of that before. Dinuguan. 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 Or in English, dinuguan. dinuguan. Ang dinuguan ay ang dugo ang ng baboy. Ay, ay dinuguan is ng... pig's blood. Oh, but I like it. I like mm. dinuguan a lot. Baboy. Especially if uh, dinuguan ay, has dinuguan. more meat. Because some ay, dinuguan doesn't ay, have any meat at all. Baboy. Just like the pig's blood. It's, it's not pig's blood, it, pig's is, blood. Is, it's coagulated it's pig's blood, English. isn't it? No, not just pig. a bit of coagulation here, there. But it's like a stew kind of uh, pig's blood. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> but it's very delicious. And I like eating it with rice because we eat everything with rice, right? Rice is life. Next is sisig. 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 Everyone's favorite, sisig. <laughs> or in English, sisig. Ang sisig ay mas masarap sisig. pag sisling sisig. <laughs> <laughs> sisig is <laughs> sisig is even more delicious if it's sizzling. I think the original idea of sisig is uh, chopped pig's face. So the meat that you use there in the in sisig is a uh, pig's face. So you just cut cut up everything, and then add some lime, yeah, liver, and then cut up everything, and then like uh, make it a, a sizzling plate. So everything is uh, as if it's fried, right? And then you add some, uh, what's this, like spicy things. Now in many restaurants, you can order sisig in, say, pork sisig, right? Or tuna sisig. Oh. Tuna sisig is really good. That's it for today's lesson. Hope you learned something new. And have you ever tried any Filipino food? If you've tried something that we haven't said, Please comment them down below and tell us if you like them or not. Or if you have tried the ones that we have said, please comment them down below and tell us if you like them. And hopefully you did. Because if you don't, then go and get out. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more Filipino, head on to filipinopod101.com. Till the next lesson. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm still stuck in that same issue that I think why my brain is struggling to figure out how to figure out this language because I think I'm still, my brain is trying to read it like it's English when it's clearly, it's obviously not English. And I'm trying to, and obviously I'm trying to say it as it's spelled with the English letters and I'm trying to say it like it's I'm reading it like it's English. It's so frustrating. I'm trying so hard to learn Tagalog. I picked up some some bits, but I don't remember everything that I've been taught so far. I know my fiance has taught me loads, and it's just not sticking in my brain. I can't remember half of it. And I'm still going to try and self teach myself, but I think what I'm probably going to have to do is probably at some point when I can afford it is pay a teacher to learn it like scratch from scratch and then hopefully then I could be able to pick it up and the more and more time that I spend in the Philippines the more and more I should be able to pick it up and be able to at least hold a basic conversation at least but anyway that's the that's the end of the video there so thank you very much for watching if you like what you see and would like to see more Please drop us a like and a comment down below uh, if there's anything you want me to check out and uh, enjoy this funny journey of me trying to self-teach myself uh, Tagalog and um, I'll catch you in the next video and obviously if you do li- like what you see please go and check out all our other videos that are all in uh, different playlists now. Uh, drop us a subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.